Hey everyone, in this video we are working on IXL uh, geometry, C1, angle vocabulary. Uh, we will learn the basic terms in geometry. You usually will deal with this lesson at the beginning of the year. And probably you might need a reminder right before the state test. So the first question is, says, look at this angle. What is the vertex? Vertex is a point of intersection of the two rays that you have. When two rays create an angle, rays look like rays have one end point and the other end goes on forever. And then when you have another one starting from the same point and going on forever, they create a point of intersection. That point is called the vertex right there. That this is the angle that I just draw. This is the angle according to the figure. Oh, that point is not x. So the point is W. So the vertex is going to be the W point. Let's just type it in and move on. I'm not sure if you put a lowercase w, whether it's going to accept it or not. Just to be on the safe side, I just wanted to put a uppercase w. You can look at this angle. What is the vertex? The vertex is, again, the point of intersection, the point of the two rays that meet together. So it would be uppercase u. Let's put it over here. You will see. Again, it's the vertex. The vertex is the point W. I wonder if the question is going to change at all. It's T. Okay, now it changed. What are the sides? So when you name a side, you got to pay attention to what you have. Uh, do you have one endpoint or two? That's or none. So the sides of an angle are going to be rays. Okay? And when you name a ray, rays look like this. One endpoint, let's say this is point A, this one is point B. The typical side of a side of an angle looks like this. And when you name it, you need to make sure that the point matches with the letter. The side that goes on forever matches with the letter. So this one is AB. A stops, B goes on forever. So it should match. You cannot put this though. This one is a correct expression. BA, A stops, B goes on forever. That's not an accepted notation. The symbol should be like this for sure. If you have a ray, that's the symbol that you want to put. You put the letter that stops according to that figure. Let's just have another one then. Let's do this. Oops, not that. Let's do X and P. So decide what point stops. This is the sign that you gotta put. That's for sure. And then the point is X right here. And then the side that goes on forever is that one. XP, X stops, P goes on forever. That's what you need. So Back to our example, we have point U that stops, start with that one, and then T goes on forever, and then U stops, V goes on forever, U stops, V goes on forever. And uh, not for this assignment, maybe you can even switch uh, the letters on this assignment, I'm not sure, but this is the most accurate way to write the names of the signs start with the point that stops and go ahead with the point that goes on forever UT and UV will be the answers let's just clear this and then put UT and UV in there okay yeah it matters how you put them I didn't think that they would give you that option UT and we are dealing with a ray it starts from U and it goes on forever to V. If you switch the letters, it's not going to accept it. I know that now. Okay, look at this angle. What is the vertex? It is W, the point. I really don't want to see a question about the vertex anymore. What are the sides? Start from your starting point, which is U. And then V goes on forever. There's an arrow. 
and then T goes on forever. UV and UT are your answers and you your sides sides look like this. One end point, the other end goes forever. Again, this time it is UT. So that's basically it. Let me see if there's any okay. Another type of question interior means inside of the arms you have exterior of an angle is outside of the uh, sides of the angle so W right here is outside because interior is just keep connecting the sides that area is the interior like this this area that's the interior W doesn't lie in that area so it is an exterior angle what are the sides let's skip that one and see if there's any other type you okay, name this angle in three different ways the first way is one letter the vertex okay that's one letter and then before if you just put s then no one knows what it is it usually stands for a point but if you put this angle sign then we are talking about an angle S. Okay, angle S is right here, the red one. And another way, by the way, since we are talking about angles, you need that symbol for sure. And then the next way to label it is go around, start from one of the far end of the sides, like here, and then cover that whole angle. What letters did we pass through? first we started from T and then we stopped by S and then R TSR is another way TSR Let's type it in oh not like this this wasn't what I meant okay T come on okay, T S R and then the other way is that if you start from the other end, like here, start from here, first point that we stop by is R, S, and then T. R, S, T would be the other option. Come on. Okay, R, S, T is the last way to name it one answer is going to be just one letter the other two is going to have three letters so that's all for this assignment guys thanks for watching we worked on uh, IXL geometry C1 angle vocabulary learned how to name an angle how to name the size of an angle how to name the vertex of an angle uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in another video